Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, now in today's video, what I wanted to do is discuss how to maintain your waves as an athlete. I want to take the focus off of myself and highlight somebody that represents the coach in my in my opinion almost his entire professional career in this. Devin Haney, right? If you guys don't know who Devin Haney is, he is currently the WBC lightweight champion of the world. I believe in his second professional debut fight as a boxer, that's when he started rocking 360 waves. From the time he started up until now, he's been rocking 360 waves. So I feel like he's somebody that is not only a great role model for the culture, but he's also the youngest boxer to ever fight on national TV, and he's also the youngest champion, right? Telling out of Oakland, California, the youngest champion in the United States of America. Town business. This dude is the so youngest boxer. Yeah. Fight on national television. Seventeen, right? Seventeen. I'm just giving props. As you should. As you should. You know, because sir. people always want to say, "Well, you know what? He ain't like that." that, that. You know what I mean? We ain't doing that. We just no. don't accept greatness for what it is yeah. today. Well. He is somebody that is, in my personal opinion, a great role model for kids that are growing up because. He doesn't do drugs, he doesn't do all he lives a very healthy, very disciplined lifestyle. With that being said, I'm going to refer to him throughout this video, but the information I'm giving you all is based off of the studying and, and everything that I've been sharing over the years on my channel. So with that being said, let's not waste any time and let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that you need to understand as an athlete is you're not trying to be a pretty boy. There are a lot of people who get advice from people who are seeking to be pretty boys. Now I'm not saying you cannot be a pretty boy as an athlete, but most athletes already know they, they're trying to get waves, but they don't care about having perfect and elite 360 waves, right? That's one of the reasons why on my channel I've always been saying there's no point of having elite waves if your lifestyle is not elite, right? So the first thing you need to understand is when it comes to getting waves and maintaining them as an athlete, your focus should not be on having elite waves. Your focus should be on your craft and what you're doing because the better you are as an athlete, the, the, the better your lifestyle will be, right? And when you look at most athletes such as Devin Haney, when you see him, he spars with do-rags as well as without them, but most of the time, he's not wearing a do-rag whenever he's working out, right? Which leads into the first point of how to maintain your ways as an athlete. A lot of times people ask me, should they wear a do-rag or should they not wear a do-rag? When it comes to wearing a do-rag, it really just depends on what kind of athlete you are. Uh, some sports or some activities, what they do is they increase your blood flow. And if you're wearing a do-rag, if you don't know how to tie it the right way to where it's not cutting off circulation, what it'll do is it'll create a headache during your workouts, which may limit your performance and your ability to be able to train all the way. So for me, I've always focused on not really caring how my waves look through that process. So I don't really worry about wearing a do-rag, uh, especially if I'm doing a high-intensity workout. Boxers typically have to do a lot of high-intensity training, which revolves around uh, a lot of cardio movements, jumping rope, uh, hitting a speed bag, hitting a heavy bag, and things of that nature. So it's no surprise that whenever he's working out, I don't really see him wearing a do-rag through his workout activities because that could lead to headaches and, and all kind of other stuff that you don't want to have to worry about as a professional athlete. Now, if you are trying to be a pretty boy, that's a difference, right? You may want to wear a do-rag because what a do-rag does is it helps lock your hair in place until after you finish your workout. And then once your hair is, uh, once you sweat it and everything like that, you just simply have to wait till your do-rag dries off in order for you to unrag and take your do-rag off to help you maintain your waves while wearing a do-rag. The reason why I respect uh, Devin Haney is because he doesn't wear do-rags almost, whether if he's running in the mountains, whether if he's jumping rope, whether if he's sparring, whether if he's fighting, whatever, he does not wear do-rags, but it seems like his waves is always looking as great as they possibly can, right? Now, the, the one reason why I attribute that to is because 
He's somebody that's been doing this for so long, and this goes into the second point of maintaining your waves as an athlete. You have to understand your hair length level, right? Your curl length level. A lot of times people, when they get waves, they wanna go on these long woofs, and woofing is simply growing your hair out as long as possible to get better looking waves. But as, a, but as an athlete, you don't want to focus on that, right? So when you understand, when you take time to focus on understanding your hair length as well as your curl length, what you will notice is you may have to get haircuts at a certain point in time in order to maintain your hair at curl length and at the maximum it can grow before it starts getting unruly, right? So those are the levels that you want to focus on is what's the lowest I can cut my hair and then what's the highest I can let my hair grow before it gets to the point to where my waves are not looking good. Haney throughout the years has been able to maintain this. You really have to take time to focus on not only understanding your hair, your hair cut length, but also your haircut maintenance, which is the third point. It, it makes no point of knowing what your, your hair length is if you do not have a haircut maintenance routine. This may mean that you may have to get haircuts every two weeks, right? So you have to figure out a barber who can accommodate that as well as when it comes to choosing a barber, you have to find a barber that will respect what you desire in, in, in regards to your, your, your haircuts. Only in the world, you too. I've seen it in situations to where you go into the barber shop and a, you tell a barber, hey, I want a two with the grain, etc., etc., but then they end up giving you what they want. So when it comes to choosing a barber, you have to make sure you find a barber that respects your decisions and, and what you ask for when it comes to haircuts because some barbers nowadays, they do whatever they want and they don't truly serve their clients, right? So one of the things that uh, the, the, that I've, I've noticed about Haney, and if you go through and watch some of his videos, he knows when to get a haircut. Now I'm in at Lake Chabelle, out here in Oakland. I'm about to get my haircut. As well as how to maintain his hair length at the right hair length to where it looks like his hair almost never grows. And that helps make his waves look the best that they can no matter what time you see him in his career, whether if he's training or whether if he's in an upcoming match, his waves are always at the, the, the perfect length that you need to be able to have uh, with with this hair texture. Now, I know some people may ask me, okay, well, J. Lou, well, what's the haircut look for my hair texture? Just wait, I'm working on a video as of right now where I'm gonna go through and highlight all the different hair textures and things of that nature and to be able to give you guys a lot more accurate information of what is the right hair length for you, right? But with that being said, let's go into the next thing, right? So as an athlete, there are questions that people typically ask me of what should they do before, what should they do during, and then what should they do after uh, doing their workouts or whatever kind of activity that they have to do as an athlete. Now, when it, when it comes to before, it just depends on who, you, who you're trying to fit into, right? Like I said, if you're trying to be a pretty boy, then yeah, of course you wanna definitely make sure that you maintain your ways by putting a do-rag on. You may even wanna wash your hair to be able to keep it as clean as possible. So therefore, when whenever you finish working out, once you take your do-rag off, your hair won't be as dirty. It may be sweaty, but the do-rag will help protect it from like outside uh, elements and things of that nature such as our hair typically likes to grab onto things in, in the atmosphere, right? So by wearing a do-rag, if you fit in that category, it can help you in that regard. And washing your hair before, you can just simply use uh, leaving a uh, shampoo and conditioner before. But if you fit into the second category where you place your, your emphasis on your career as being an athlete, then it does not matter about wearing a do-rag or what you do before, right? While you are working out, the during aspect is... It, it goes back into that point. If you are a pretty boy, then you wanna make sure that your do-rag is not moving around too much and is not disturbing your hair, right? And this is one of those things of the reasons why I never focused on that aspect. I, I've always focused on how can I take care of my hair after the fact, right? And that's the most important thing. So when it comes to the during aspect, if you are a pretty boy, you gotta worry about all these little things and that can take away from you focusing on what you have to do while you're in the gym, right? So the next thing is, what should you do after? People ask me all the time. Yo, like with my waves, I just got a workout in and I lost them. And this was always crazy to me because people have this false expectation that their waves are always gonna look perfect every single minute, every single day, every single second. Y'all are crazy to think that's what's supposed to go on. Because most of the advice that you guys receive 
come from people who are trying to be pretty boys and people who are not athletes, right? As someone as myself, there's an athlete's mindset to where I didn't, I didn't worry about silly stuff of, of making sure that my hair looked good in every single second, every single minute, right? The reality is, as soon as you start working out, your your waves can be looking good as, as, as whatever you want, but as soon as you start working out, what happens? Your body starts sweating in order to keep your body cool so that you don't overheat during your workouts. And that sweat, what it does is, sweat has a negative charge to it. So what it's gonna do is, not only is it gonna make your hair stand up because sweat is primarily water mixed with a, a, a few other uh, nutrients and things of that nature, like sodium, but it's, per, it's purely water. And a lot of people typically think that water is great for your hair, but water is only great for your hair when you're drinking it. If you put water on your head or if you have sweat on your head, it's gonna make your hair stand up. It's as simple as possible. You're gonna lose your definition. So really what you should do and what you should focus on after uh, you do your workout is simply doing like a rinse in your hair. Like let's say you wash your hair before you worked out. You did a shampoo and conditioner, but you have to go to the gym immediately after. That does not mean you have to shampoo and condition your hair again because you don't want to continually strip your hair from the natural ingredients, the natural oils that your scalp already produces. So what you may want to do is simply do a cold water rinse. Now the reason why I encourage cold water rinses is because cold water does not make your, your hair want to frizz up. And when you go about doing this, what you could do is simply put a do-rag on that's like a mesh do-rag and then stand under the shower. And what that'll do is that'll be able to rinse out all of the sweat uh, from your workouts or whatever you're doing to try to help your hair get back to a state to where it can lay down and look a lot better. But the thing that I encourage the most, if you need to wash your hair, is to simply use a co-wash. Now, a lot of people typically ask me questions about co-washes. I made a video, I'll make sure I link it right above here that goes into great detail of everything that you should know about a co-wash, how often you should co-wash your hair. But a co-wash for people who do not understand, it just simply means a conditioning wash where you use conditioner to wash your hair because conditioner does not strip your hair entirely of the natural oils that your, your, your scalp is producing, right? So with that being said, that's, that's what you should focus on after. Even though this is dedicated towards waves, as an athlete and as somebody that is trying to make sure that their hair is looking good, this is probably, uh, as an aside, this has nothing to do with waves. This is more so just about your own personal health. As an athlete, you wanna at least be drinking at least one gallon of water every single day. Not only will it help keep you hydrated as an athlete, but even as somebody that is just trying to get waves or make sure that they have healthy skin, healthy hair, water carries, it helps your blood carry all the nutrients through your body where it needs to go. It keeps your body lubricated, right? So you wanna make sure that you're drinking enough water. But with that being said, if you have any questions about moisture or things of that nature, I've made a video, I can make sure I link that bad boy right above here the truth about moisture and going into a little bit more greater detail. Now, the last thing I wanna focus on is probably the most important thing, and that deals around, it's, it's, it's really two things. It's your wash routine, I'll go into a little bit, bit of details about that, but the, the last thing is product usage. What are the best products you should use if you are an athlete trying to maintain 360 waves? The first aspect of that is your wash routine, right? You wanna make sure you are using a shampoo and conditioner. Now, one of the things that I've learned in just my time of being a YouTuber as well as having 360 waves, basically having any kind of hairstyle, more recently, I've gotten into using two, uh, two different type of shampoos. Now, the first type of shampoo is a cleansing shampoo, right? The reason why you wanna use a cleansing shampoo is because a cleansing shampoo is designed to strip your hair completely of all dirt and grime, but you don't wanna use a cleansing shampoo all the time. The second shampoo that I use to follow up is a moisturizing shampoo, right? Now, the, the benefit of a moisturizing shampoo is you can't clean your hair purely by using a moisturizing shampoo. That's the reason why it's called a moisturizer. It's supposed to put moisture back into your hair while it's cleaning it. But a moisturizing shampoo is not as detailed of removing dirt and grime as a cleaning shampoo, right? But you can't use a cleansing shampoo all the time, right? Now the brand that I, I personally have been using lately is the brand called Design Essentials, right? So throughout this video while I'm talking, I'll be uh, posting up the, the products that I'm talking about, but they have an amazing 
cleansing shampoo as well as a moisturizing shampoo and i'll make sure i put links in the description down below of where you can find these products on amazon what i found out is amazon is the most affordable place to be able to get these products you can buy them in bulk where i was able to get a huge bottle of the shampoos as well as the uh, a huge container of the conditioner and they do a great job of offering you some of the highest quality uh ingredients when it comes to the shampoos now the next thing is you want to make sure you use a, a conditioner in order to restore your hair because when you use a cleansing shampoo as well as a moisturizing shampoo what they do is they strip your hair the moisturizing shampoo kind of goes back and put moisture in it but a conditioner truly rejuvenates your scalp and everything of that nature right so those are the things that you need to understand when it comes to washing your hair as an athlete you don't want to be cheap with this and go with the just simple vo5 that you can find in the store that's like 99 cent nowadays due to inflation they be they may be a little bit more as an athlete you want to invest in something a little bit better because you're going to build up a lot more sweat and maybe even product build up or dirt build up because if you're going inside and outside one thing that uh, people don't factor in is because our hair acts as a magnet and it clings on to things if there's a lot of pollen in the air your hair is going to grab onto that and it's going to it's, it's going to lead to build up as well as in, in your hair right so as an athlete, if you're working out uh, outside, such as you're uh, playing football, you're running track, or you're doing any of those things, such as jumping rope, or even if you're just running and doing things of that nature, there are a lot of uh, things in the environment that you have to be concerned of. Now, the next thing when it comes to products is what should you put in your hair? And this has been something that I've been preaching on my channel since I started, is that you wanna make sure you focus on using light products. One of the main reasons why I decided to create my product was because over the years of me testing products and reviewing other people's products, what I noticed is a lot of people typically use ingredients that have ingredients that, that their molecular structure is a lot bigger. And what I noticed with my low porosity hair, my hair would not absorb the products completely and there would be a lot of product buildup in my hair and it's just a lot of crazy stuff, right? So when I created Texas Tea, it was built around using the lightest ingredients on the market to be able to help my hair absorb every single ingredient that I'm putting into my hair, but at the same time, not weigh my hair down. And that's what you want to look for. I'm not going to go through other products. That's the main reason why I created my own. But at the end of the day, you can simply do a quick search and be able to find out whenever you're about to buy a product, just Google the product and see uh, on a scale like how heavy the product is or whatever the case is. As an athlete, you want to make sure you use products that are light in nature. You want to stay away from things such as pomades, heavy butters, and things of that nature because what they do is whenever you're working out and sweating, these products will always, they, they'll remain in your hair a lot longer and what they'll do is when you start sweating, it can sweat down into your face and you'll start noticing that you'll start getting a whole bunch of bumps on your forehead and things of that nature. And that's just not the move because at the end of the day, if you are an athlete and let's say you are at the professional level and you have to do interviews and stuff like that, you have all these bumps on your forehead and just a whole bunch of silly stuff. And that's one reason why I always encourage people to use light products such as oils. Uh, one of my top products that, that's being sold on the site is the butter cream. Uh, and it's to the point to where it's hard for me to keep that on shelves. Now, a lot of people don't know, but I don't really like to flex my relationships online and things of that nature. But me and me and Mr. Bill Haney have been following each other for a pretty long time period and we've been building a rapport. But if you ever get a chance to watch this video, Mr. Haney, what I would like to say is, uh, I would definitely love to be able to send you all uh, the products for the Texas Tea so I can get your thoughts on them. Because one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is one of the things that I've noticed about the Haney's is that they are very respectable when it comes to the sport. Even though David Haney currently, as of right now, is going through situations where the WBC is trying to make it seem like his belt and his championship doesn't mean anything of that nature. They continue to be respectful in, in how they carry themselves, you know, so they take pride in ownership and being able to own their own things. He has his own promotion company and things of that nature, you know, so that would be just one thing that I would like to do. But on top of that, some people may be watching this video and be like, well, what about me? Well, the good thing is if you wanted to be able to try the products, I'm going to be giving a coupon code on this video where all you have to do is use the code Haney and it will help give you 10% off of any of the products within the store on my site, right? So with that being said, that concludes every single thing that you would need to understand about being an athlete. But hopefully this video helped answer almost every single question that you all may have had. If there's something that I missed, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. 
I probably will make a follow-up video in regards to uh, how to maintain your waves while working out to go into a greater aspect of some of the concepts that I talked about. Because at one point in time, I was studying to get my personal trainer certificate license to be able to teach people. And I did all of that stuff before I started my YouTube channel. That's one of the reasons why when it comes to the best information on uh, YouTube for how to take care of your waves, you don't need to look any any further. This channel will give you everything that you need to know just in time to be able to help you achieve the goals that you're trying to get. So with that being said, it's your boy, J. Lou. Hope you all have a great day. Salute.